Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I'm going to show you two vulnerabilities around broken access control. So in a nutshell, what is broken access control? Broken access control is if a user can access something they're not supposed to. So if you look at classical web applications, you have different privilege levels, like an admin user, like a staff user, like an, a, a customer user, um, an unauthenticated user. And if you can reach either other people's information, right, this would be like a horizontal privilege escalation. Like if user A can see information from user B and vice versa, that is an access control issue. Or if you have the so-called um, vertical privilege escalation when, for example, a regular user or a, a lower privileged user can access information from which only should be accessible to admin users. Okay, so I'm going to show you two examples around that. For that purpose, I have um, two different browsers here. One is logged in as an administrator the, in the red tab, and that one is a normal user, a normal doctor user in this case, um, which which has less privilege than the administrator. So as an administrator, I can, for example, retrieve appointments from John Smith. Okay, so here we go. That's John Smith and um, John Smith's address, PII information, phone number, DOB. Okay, so if I try to do the same from um, a regular doctor account, I get an error message. And it says like, you're not authorized to view this, right? So because I have less privileges. Now, as an attacker, as a, as a bug bounty researcher, I would try to bypass this in one way or another. So let's head over to Burp first and foremost, and let's take a look at the query, which the administrator sent. I sent this to repeater, and you can see here, um, there's a cookie set, and this is the administrative cookie from the administrator, which was given to the admin by the server when they, successfully logged in with the administrator credentials. And then I can send this, and so I get the PII information of that specific patient. So no big deal here. If I go into my burp history and I look at, for example, the, the cookies of a normal doctor user, a less privileged user, I see that they are different. Obviously, they are not admin cookies. So what I can try now is I simply copy the less privileged uh, cookies uh, into that request. So I remove the admin cookie and then I hit send basically and see what I get. I get the same information as the administrator. I am able to retrieve that PII information with my own cookie set, even though I'm less privileged. So what went wrong here is basically that the developers successfully implemented access control, but only on the web front end. So the API call can still be called with less privileged cookies, as you can see this here. So this is a problem and this is an access control vulnerability. Now let's move on to the second one. You can see here as, an, as um, a user or like an admin, you have the search patient option, right? So I can search for patient names. So I just search for Sean, for example, and then I get information about um, the database entries here. Okay, so let's take a look at this in um, in Burp, send it to repeater so we can play with it. And I can rerun it here and I get the information from that specific user or these specific users. Okay, so um, what if I'm going to try the same trick I was doing earlier? I simply copy the cookies from the less privileged users into that um, request and I hit send and it works again. Okay, so this is the same problem. So we already found two functions, but there is even a more serious one in this particular one. What if I removed the cookie altogether? So say I remove the cookie value completely. Okay, then I do not get any response. So as an unauthenticated user, I do not get any response. But what I would try as a hacker, I would try different methods. So you see, this is a post method. So what happens if I actually change this to something called a get method? So maybe the developers have only implemented access control on the post method, but forgot about the get method. So let's try this. And there you go. And this is another access control vulnerability. So basically as an unauthenticated user, if I don't send a post request, 
but I change the method to a get request, then the access control is basically not non-existent. And so these are the kind of problems you regularly find in organizations that, for example, unauthenticated users can simply change the request method or you can use your own cookies for an API call and the defenses have only been implemented on the web front and on the web UI and things like that. So th these are classical access control vulnerabilities. I hope this makes sense and I look forward to see you in the next video. Thank you.